Well, someone's not having a good day on Memorial Day weekend. Yes, he isn't. Okay, so yesterday I just got back from the competition. My first. I'm not going to be uploading the video. I'll upload some highlights of it, but probably not a whole video. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you some new cubes I got and things that changed on my cubes. So, yeah, starting off with my new Rubik's clock. You just grab it like this. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, so here. Here's the Rubik's clock. It's a land land clock. It turns terribly. So you just, it, the clock works by you push in and push out these digits. And then there's th these little wheels up here. Now when you go like that, it rotates the clocks. I have such a bad clock and I haven't broken it in yet. So they don't turn as really well. But yeah. So next off with the 4x4. Four well, my new 4x4, four four, you just grab it like this, too. Yeah! I failed there. Anyway, here's the 4x4. Four four. So, this is just, uh, I traded, I actually traded my stickerless 4x4 four four for somebody else's 4x4. Four four, and it's it's just a Shang Shao 4x4. Four uh, because I traded my stickerless one because stickerless cubes aren't competition legal. That was the only 4x4 four four I have. So I ended up getting a new 4x4 four four by trading. So yeah, there's the 4x4. Four four. Next, we're going to move on to my 2x2. Two two. Now my 2x2 two two actually changed. So I lubed it, I tensioned it, and I re-stickered it. And also, I got Chris Olsen to sign it. I got Kevin Hayes to sign it, and then I got J. Hoa Rubix, or Josh, to sign it. See, that was pretty cool. Next is for my 2x2 two two shape mods and shape shifters. So here's the shape mod. Can I just jump in for I a got, second yes. and just say something? Yes. I, I was at the, uh, the, the MCC. Otherwise known as Midwest the Midwest Cubing Competition. We also refer to it sometimes as the RCC. The Regional Cubing Competition. That's right. And I just want to say as a non-cuber, the incredible yeah. prowess of Kevin... What's his last name? Kevin Hayes. On he, that 7x7? He, seven seven, he uh, that got was... a NAR single, North American record single for the 7x7, seven seven, and he got a world record average. I think he might have just gotten a world record. Average. Whatever the case, it was unbelievable. So, yes. As a non Huber. There you go, that's my to dad's watch. It was unbelievable. Anyway, back to the 2x2 two two shape mob. The YJ Cat Cube. Look at how sexy he is. You can like shove Doritos in his mouth. But yeah, this is this is the YJ Cat Cube. It's so weird because it's just a two by two shape mob that shape shifts like crazy. It's so much fun to solve, too. Uh, I it, I find that it takes me a little while to solve and it's hard to do finger tricks on. But yeah, that there there's that. It, I I didn't tension it because it has problems popping so when it comes it's supposed to be tension just exact so yeah on to the two by two shape shifter so as you guys know i do solves on this this is the three by three bump or mirror cube whatever you want to call it so this is the three by three now i have the magical <gasps> ready to snap my fingers and it appears right in the air Ready and stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There it is. So now I have the 2x2 two two mirror blocks. No, the 2x2 two two mirror blocks is a lot of fun to solve. I'll actually solve it quickly because it's not too hard. So the 2x2 two two mirror blocks, it's completely awesome. I love this cube. It's a very fun puzzle to solve. And it, it's the thing about it is that if you can solve a 2x2, two two, this is going to be the easiest little puzzle for you. So yeah, right now, it's giving me a hard time with these, couple of these pieces. So I'm probably going to solve it like this instead, to speed things up a little bit. Um, hmm. So, 
Yeah, I got one side. Now I need to finish the rest. I need them to be facing upwards. But they're all facing upwards. So then it's just a... No, they're not all facing upwards. These are facing upwards, but these aren't. We have to put it like that. And then do that little case. Yes, I got that one. And then you just swap those two. So, yeah, I'm already done, by the way. So, that's how fast, how long it takes me to solve the 2x2 two two mirror blocks. Yeah. And so, as you can see in the beginning of the video, I did show you this pattern that I made on the 7x7. Seven seven. And if you are subscribed to me and you're one of my classmates, you'll know that I haven't solved this. I actually did solve this. I finished it with a little bit of help. So, yeah, I'll probably be returning it back into its normal state. So, yeah, here's the memory of the unhappy 7x7. Seven seven. So, yeah. Just, if you're new, well, first of all, here's all the cubes. So here they all are. My clock, the 4x4, four four, the, oh, no, this isn't new. Get that in there. Uh, here's the 4x4, four four, the clock, the sign 2x2, two two, the YJ cat cube, the mirror blocks, and the unhappy 7x7. Seven so, yeah, if you're new, like, comment, subscribe, and share, favorite, do whatever you want with the video. Just don't copy it. I hate plagiarism. So, yeah, bye.